could be a major breakthrough for police in Pennsylvania and for a family searching for answers after the death of a young man. New evidence is uncovered after a five eyewitness news investigation prompts detectives to go back to the scene. The drowning death was considered a closed case until a policeman found a smiley face in the same place the man disappeared. Linking his death, they believe, to the smiley face killers. Christy Peel broke the story in tonight. Has this new development? This is the last image Barbara McKay has of her son. The surveillance tape from Bootlegger's Bar in Ridley Township, Pennsylvania, shows Tommy Booth going into the bar in January, but he never comes out. His body was found in a shallow creek right behind the bar two weeks later. When he told me the smiley face was there, I was like, it just gave me chills. I'm like, you know, maybe this is something that will make sense because everything before that didn't. The Ridley Township detective who worked the case wasted no time after our investigation aired on Good Morning America. Now he says he knew exactly what to look for, a smiley face. The morning that I saw this story run on the news, I came into work and I asked my detectives to go down and just take a further look to see. We noticed this graffiti and we noticed this smiley face that was painted on the wall. Police were surprised. They had never before seen this kind of graffiti in Ridley Township. The same day police found the smiley face, they say they alerted the FBI. This case always puzzled me. I just couldn't, I couldn't understand and we couldn't put together the pieces of this puzzle. And while Booth had been drinking, police say his blood alcohol level wasn't excessive. Police say Booth's drowning is once again an active case. And his mother believes his drowning is connected to 40 other drownings across the country. There are too many similarities. And I, I had read that a lot of them, either their wallet or their cell phones, are missing. And that's the only thing we don't have is a cell phone. The medical examiner is also interested in the recent developments and is taking another look at the autopsy. The Pennsylvania detective working the Tommy Booth case considers the case active and is now talking with retired detective Kevin Gannon about evidence and any possible link to the smiley face killers. Christy Peel, 5 Eyewitness News.